Hey guys, welcome to Comfy Cozy Up and it is the 1st of February so I'm excited guys. February is just going to be one of those busy months that I hope to fly by. I want it to fly by fast because I need to get to spring guys. It has been, it has been freezing. We're talking negative degrees, zero degrees on the regular. Um, this morning was zero degrees and it's sunny in the day. So when you're inside, you think outside is going to be great, but it is freezing. So that's the only thing I am happy about the last week. It's been, the days have been really um, sunny and I got a lot of daylight to do things. So this video, um, this week I'm starting it early because I'm hoping to get through this book and also to have some fun with uh, Instagram and real. So hopefully you guys are going to be uh, follow me on Instagram as the real solid things going on. So today I did the first video um, photo challenge um, and I'm getting ready to do a, a spread for my journal because it's the first day of Black History Month so you know this natural light. See what I'm talking about with this natural light? Yes! Yes! So what am I doing? No, before that this came on time. I just literally got it um, was on my outside my door. I was so happy this one got delivered versus me having to go outside in the cold to the mailbox There is one more book that did come today, but that's in the mailbox No, not going out there today. <laughs> I will just go um, Tomorrow after work and just pick that book up now I was all happy about this with coming on time because I think this might be um, a next read or so I'm not sure yet um, but because it's just calling my name but my god, here we go again with a stupid sticker situation on top. Um, so that just ruined the, the book. At least it's up top though, I would say. So it's, it's not really taken away from everything else. It, they, they were smart enough to just put it up here. And not like smack dead here or, you know. But still, god, I hate they do that. But I'm excited for this. I'm glad this came. So, that's good. I started decided oh I can't speak today sorry guys I decided to start with Harlem Shuffle I'm on I'm not only but I'm in I'm, I'm in deep I'm about a um, 90 98 page 98 and um so this is a story about this upstanding French dude um, and he has this, you know, a shop, family setting, all that. And he has a family member who time to time give him items to essentially pawn. Um, essentially business transaction. And he never questioned where those items come from. But he also know that his family member is not the most upright person. And it just so happened the family member... Um, decided to do the ultimate the ultimate um uh heist <laughs> that's a word <laughs> and now it's become an issue because now there are some dangerous people involved and his life his is you know here comes his, his, his cousin dragging him into some mess that's where i'm at with this now the writing style in this is it's very colson whitehead it's just this is this is his writing style um the issue i have so far that i'm not it, it, i'm i feel very disconnected to how the story is going like I, I i i i'm not saying i'm not enjoying it but it's more like um it's 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 Something about it is just a little off right now for me, but I'm still going through it. I'm still seeing how it's gonna play out um, And it's also a historical fiction, but it's not that far in like, you know It's not a part of the Harlem Renaissance era at all. It started um, in 1959 and um, Based on the content here, it's going to go all the way to 64 I think yeah so we'll see how it goes because right now you know somebody's dead that's where I'm at right now <laughs> um so I'm gonna keep going with this and I oh another thing I did like is because now 
we are out of the Harlem Renaissance era. I like how he's talking about what Harlem was looking like then. Like with the changes as, you know, new decades come along after the Harlem Renaissance and how things are different in the community. Um, and what um, the story, just, I guess, will be in the 60s when it stops. So, you know, you kind of probably won't get as harsh as what Harlem was like in the, you know, the 70s and 80s. The Harlem was really rough. Um, but um, so far, I'm just, I'm going through it. But um, I kind of see why it's, it hasn't been that popular because it's something, it's something is about it. It's just, you know, I can't really say yet until I, you know, I finish it so I can give my proper thought on it. So, yeah. So, I'm going to start doing some journaling stuff. Also, today is my wrap-up video, so you guys will see that before this. I think I'm going to end up having two videos per week this month. I think I want to have a weekend one because this is where I want to do a book-to-movie adaptation situation um, for the weekends. And maybe use weekends as more heavy project weekends. That's what I think I'm going to do. Don't know how I'm going to do it yet. Because, you know, the, the editing time. But I will let you know at the end of the video. If I'm able, to, if I'm going to do that. And then, um, so you guys will know that there's two videos per week in February. Yeah, I think I could pull it off, guys. Wish me luck. So, all right, guys, let me get over to the side and you can see all oh, this. Alright guys, it has been two days since I put up the camera. Yes, I was so busy because I had to finish up the blog post um, um, for my monthly wrap-up. So you can check that out on comfortcozyup.com. And um, it was just, yeah, I had a high lot. And some days when I do certain kind of workout, it takes, um, it, ta it takes me out. Yesterday was leg day. It took me out. <laughs> So, and my legs are still hurting. Um, today, I ended up missing the gym because the weather was crappy and I just came straight home. And I wasn't feeling that great. Still, still not. <laughs> um, I'm, you know, women issue. Put it that way. <laughs> so, anyway, I, guys, I had to put this book down. What's like Tuesday. It was the last time I picked this up. I was bored to death. I'm bored to death. And I'm about halfway in it. And for something, it's something about it. I think it's the writing style that is just throwing me off. That I'm like, mm, it's. I had to put it down because it was just like, I'm dragging reading this. Like, it's, it's like I pick it up, I read a couple of pages, and I just want to like put it back down. Like, it's, yeah, I don't, mm. I'm struggling, struggling, and I'm so upset because this is, you know, I'm a Harlem Renaissance person, and even though this is not the Harlem Renaissance era, it is in Harlem in the 50s. So for me, I was excited, you know, because I'm like, you know, it's gonna, and it, it's not giving me what I wanted to give me. So I am slow reading this for the rest of the month because I cannot focus too much on this because this is just gonna mess me up because I should be way more in this book than I should than I am right now so anyway 
So I decided to pick up something else and this is what I've been reading for the last two days. This is The Perfect Ruin and this I am going to def... Shh, let me say, let me not because I don't know, something's up with my reading mood right now but I should be able to finish this in this reading vlog. So it is raining, freezing rain. I'm not leaving this house. Um, and then the weekend, the tomorrow's the ice box. So, yeah, winter. Um, at first I was annoyed, straight up annoyed, because I was just like, the main character is a character that I am not a big fan. So what I know about it, because I went in there sort of kind of blind, um, is this main character who's in, um, pretty much in therapy, she had some kind of traumatic thing happen to her life. And she was given the name of the person who's who was believed to be responsible. And so now she's sorting out the person, trying to get within the person's life. And just trying to get a friendship and find a way to ruin this woman's life that she believes is the cause of her mental distress and everything that's been happening to her. It is creepy. It is sometimes annoying because I'm kind of like, how gullible some people are um but it's also in a weird way entertaining but i liked no one this is the kind of story where i couldn't care less for anybody in this book but it is interesting to see how the train wreck is happening and there's an uh, incident where um she now got herself in some serious legal sh you know ish and I am still going to go through it because I feel like because it's a psychological thriller, something is off in the beginning. Something is just not added up and it's just going to be interesting to see how that all plays out. So it is get, it is keeping my attention. It's keeping my attention. But normally this is not some some book I would read because I, I, characters like this annoy the hell out of me. So, um, but yeah. We're going to continue with this one, and yeah, 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 we're, we're going to continue with this one. So, I am cooking nothing crazy. I am cooking just some curry chicken. I have some balsamic with, uh, mixed with kiwan, which is, you know, I've been eating a lot of that lately. But this is like I get to have a little bit of carb today than normal, which is good. Um, so I have to, you know, I have to still learn how to balance all of that. So that's what I'm doing today. And then I'm going to do some journaling. And um, I have not cut any pattern this week. Not one. I keep telling I'm going to do it. And then I end up getting distracted with other things and not cut no pattern. But I really want to cut some pattern today. Um, for just a basic, basic top. And, um, that would be my project for the weekend. I really wanted to do a dress. I have the fabric. But it's going to be so ambitious. But I want to do like a really nice dress for Valentine's Day. I mean, I'm single. But I could still be cute and sexy for myself, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Discard all that. <laughs> anyway, so, um... I'll check in with you guys in a few. white top I made 
and um yeah hopefully I get some pictures out of it but guys the perfect ruin clever as hell I did not expect the twist I knew there was another party playing part in the story but didn't know who the person was and I thought the twist of this was very clever this is definitely a psychological thriller and as far as the main character I you know you guys know I already said in the beginning I felt she was stupid but then I still kind of felt sorry for her in terms of um, she wasn't as clever as she thought she was kind of deal which you kind of saw um, because this story is really racks to riches kind of twist and turn in this where you know someone who didn't have anything is now exposed to things so naturally you expect certain kind of behavior and this is what she she brought to, to, to the story and it caught up with her um, and it, it's 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 one of those where I'm like come on how did you fall for this how you fall for that that kind of deal but the the, the 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 clever person in this yeah yeah she she, <laughs> she she was clever as hell so I enjoyed this I definitely think it's it's um it gave you what what you expect you wanted that psychological thriller as usual you're not sure you know the characters are not necessarily likable and that's the point they're not supposed to be likable because it's a psychological thriller um, but it, it, it gave you, it gave you the suspense and it gave you some drama, entertaining drama. Um, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. I did not finish this, guys. I did read some more. So I'm a little bit more than halfway. It's like, uh, it's a three part situation. So I am getting ready to start the third part. So I will give you the rundown, but I would say it's just slow. It's slow in the beginning. It's it's it has a writing style I'm not sure about. I felt like this was ex like an experimental writing that he did in this. It still feels like him, but it's just something about it that this was just making me bored. Where I I don't like that. It's just too dry and slow to me in the beginning because this is. It's, it's Harlem Shuffle, but it's, 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 it's really a Harlem criminal, <laughs> pretty much. Everyone is some form of con, whether whether they're intentionally conning people or um, are part of a conning scheme that they just didn't care to find out about, that kind of deal. So that's that's this, and it's, it's, it's a Harlem Renaissance era of the 50s and 60s, so there's a change in Harlem that was going on. There is that the business aspect of it and, and who the, the, the have and the have not kind of deal. Um, I, the main character in this, in the beginning, you kind of get him as that person who just trying to survive regardless of if he knew his role in certain things that was not right. His cousin, however, is that kind of crook that um, just does things and think that he needs to do this and it, 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 there's when it got to point to the second part it's kind of like you felt like he was just a loose cannon that just can't help himself that deal but then the main character has this thing of revenge this thing of getting back at someone and that's where we at with this where I feel like it's all gonna caught up, catch up with him you know he's been able to get away with uh, his role in major things um, that um, he had a small role in, but not really kind of deal. And now it's like, uh, you know, it's, I feel like it's going to catch up with him. He has a family, you know, his wife, kids, that kind of deal. Um, but it's just, this, something is just uh, not clicking with me with this story. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me. Um, but I'm hoping that at least the last part of it give me some something to work with that I can feel like I can... You know, but as of right now, it's a struggle. But I'm going to finish it today. I'm going to push through this. Finish it today. I am going to do a weekend vlog. Um, because I want to do um, a book to movie adaptation. I'm hoping to do or something in that. But I, I'm planning to do the weekend vlog. So maybe I'll just talk about 
this in that and that will be on Tuesday so stay tuned there's a video on Tuesday but yeah guys this this was a struggle um starting <laughs> um, February reading off and yeah I'm definitely gonna pick up two more books for next week um and do the same kind of setup and maybe um those books will be give me a whole different feel i mean not for nothing this this was good i was i'm glad i picked this up because if i was just going to read this alone it, this this vlog would be just yeah i i am so so surprised i really was rooting for this book and it's not giving me look at the cover it's so pretty but lord it's slow and it's, yeah it's like yes anyway guys i'm in this year i am going to uh prep and do some stuff and continue for the weekend vlog i spent three hours this morning super early cleaning the kitchen doing laundry and in the bathrooms yeah i was very productive but i need to conquer my closet you guys, the, that closet that I'm always cleaning every year is looking like a hot mess again. So I want to start working on it. So yeah, I'm being productive and doing the most. Um, and I am going to also, I need to get rid of this book. So I need to finish this book. And let's hope the last part of this book is strong enough for me to feel like, okay, you know, it's not a complete loss. So yeah. So we're going to end this here, guys. And I will see you uh check out the blog on sunday and i will um also follow me on instagram i mean you know i'm doing the real soul lit and i will see you guys on youtube tuesday so yeah all right guys see you in the next one